Okay, we're going to show you how to properly install a wrap on your vehicle for your hood. Uh, first, you want to start with uh, identifying if you have anything to remove on your hood. Uh, some vehicles you'll see here have your windshield pissers. Uh, these are going to need to be removed to properly install your wrap. Uh, first, what you want to do is pop, pop your hood. Most cars underneath will have a, a heat mat that's uh, plastic riveted to your hood. Uh, you're going to want to locate those rivets. We've installed all of, the, all of them on this hood except for one to show you. And uh, you want to use either a uh, trim tool or a flathead screwdriver sometimes can work. You just want to slide it under there and pop that rivet out and then the mat will actually slide right out. Next you want to actually remove the fluid hose go into your pistons. You just pull right off. Just carefully do that without breaking the plastic um, hardware. And then next, you want to take a flathead screwdriver. If you notice here, there's a pressure clip right here. You're going to want to push that in, and then this will actually rotate back. And then you push the back one in. Sometimes they're a little tricky. Then the hood pusser will pop right out, and that's properly removed. Now you just want to do the other side. Again, pressing one side at a time. And then they easily slide right out. And now you're done. So now you want to want to close your hood back up. Now we need to prep the surface so you get proper adhesion. Uh, you're going to want to use, you're going to want to use uh, rubbing alcohol, uh, it's very simple, you can buy it anywhere, uh, and then just pick, uh, preferably lintless paper towel. You just want to douse the hood and get it nice and wet. Make sure you're getting any oil and fingerprints off. You want to make sure that you clean any grooves and uh, make sure the edges are free of any dirt. Panel being properly clean is going to kind of dictate the life of your graphic. You want to make sure that you have a clean surface so that there's no peeling issues down the road. And then also that there's no pieces of dirt or uh, bug tar on your hood, which is going to cause to have a small texture underneath the wrap. You want to try to make it nice and clean so you get that paint like surface. Okay, next, we're going to, next, we're going to peel the backing paper off our graphic. Uh, you're going to get a a pre-cut piece from Big Splash. It's a five by five piece. Um, this can handle uh, next to every hood. You're just going to want to have a friend uh, for someone who's just starting installing to have another set of hands is definitely going to be helpful. And I want to have them hold one side of the graphic and just pull the paper off. And then you're going to want to. Pull your graphic kind of tight, kind of fluff it like a sheet. Make sure there's no wrinkles in it, and center it on your center it on your panel. And then keeping uh, you and your partner's hands level, slowly raise it until you start to see the impressions in the middle of the hood. Okay, that's good. And then uh, they can let go, and then now you're back to a one-person installation. That's good. Thank you, Mike. And right, now you want to. Pick up your edges and try to, try to fluff out any wrinkles that you might, might have before you actually start installing. Uh, this will make your life easier um, as you get to finishing the hood. You can almost, usually depending on the shape of the hood, you can almost pull it almost tight to where it looks like it's painted uh, before you actually even start squeegeeing. Uh, this will definitely speed up your installation. Again, you're just slowly working around, around the hood, trying to get rid of any, any wrinkles or pieces. Okay, now we want to start in the middle of our hood with our felt line squeegee. And you want to, without lifting up your squeegee, you want to just slowly work the air from the middle of the hood 
to one side. So here I'm going to start and work out to the edge. Very easy process. You want to just try to squeegee maybe uh, an inch at a time uh, running down the whole length of the hood. You don't want to try to take on too much where you'll, you'll actually get a wrinkle uh, from trying to, trying to squeegee too much area at one time. And then now I'll come to the other side and I'll work back. You're, essentially you're splitting the hood in half so you don't have to tackle the whole hood at once. What you want to do is squeegee out to the edge. Use your finger to kind of define the edge of the hood. So you, know, you know you have the whole panel down. Now if you notice, the back of this hood has a, a curved lip. That can easily be done actually best with your palm of your hand. Uh, you, it's, uh, it's, it'll contour to the shape of the hood. And you can, you can rub out all this excess air. So you see, see the edge of your hood. This material is very user friendly. Uh, it has an air release quality that allows you to remove bubbles without um, lifting up the material. It almost can breathe. So this is a 3M product and it is a five year material. Uh, and you notice in the middle of this hood we have a little impression with the body line. Um, a lot of hoods have these contours. What you're going to want to do is we, we've done all the flat areas. Now we're going to want to push this in. So we're going to split it right down the middle. And then we're going to allow an escape through the air back here. And then you're going to slowly just use your thumb to push it into this little groove here. Use your finger or your thumb, depending on how deep the groove is. And you can just push the air right out towards out the top of your escape hole. There's no heat needed. It's a very pliable material. Pop up the edge so that the air can get out. And just run your hand back and forth, making sure that you don't get any wrinkles. Again, the key to this is not taking on too much at one time. And then now I'll finish this curve. Coming out to the edge here. That's it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to need to trim out our, our graphic and get rid of our bleed. So what you want to do is you want to, you want to run your finger down the edge of the, of, the, of the hood. And you can see that I'm defining the edge so that I can see where my graphic needs to end. This is very important so that you get a nice clean cut. You want to do this all the way around the hood. And then you want to take an X-Acto knife. Uh, which you can purchase at, at your nearest Home Depot. And you want to slide your knife and use the edge of the hood as a, as a guide. But working very slowly as you don't want to slice the paint. So you're using the gap between the fender or the bumper to guide your knife. And then you can slowly just continue to trace out the shape of your hood. Very easy process. And when you're doing the back edge, always start in the middle, poke it through. Trace that shape. And come off to the other side. And pick up where you started. And finish that corner. And that's it. Now you're all cut out. Now you're all cut out. So now all you have to do is remove the excess material that's not needed. And then 
now you want to press down the edge that you just cut with your finger to assure that the edge is sealed. And that's it. Now you just poke holes out for your for your windshield pieces if, if your hood has that. Reinstall them, put your mat back, and that's done. And as you can see, that's a quick 10-minute transformation. Add some style to your car. Thank you.